Folks, welcome back. My name's Alex. This is Nostalgianomics. Today, we're going to keep me accountable. We're going to go back and look at the first month or so of videos I had here on YouTube and see how my recommendations have been aging. And I actually want to do this type of thing maybe every quarter on the channel to kind of keep me accountable to everyone out there. Um, it's, it's, it, we can go back and look at the recommendations I made, where the products were at, and then we can go look at what they're selling for now. And we can kind of see how my videos have been aging, how my recommendations have been doing in the future. Um, because I know there's a lot of discussion out there about a lot of videos or channel creators that were making recommendations back during the boom and how poorly they performed and how crushed a lot of people would have got listening to those people. And so I don't want to be one of those people. I want to be completely transparent out in the open. So what I'm going to do is every quarter or so, we can go through my videos and we can kind of break them down and, and tear them apart and see you know, how the recommendations I made are performing uh, currently. So first thing we're going to do is go back to my first video. It was a Battle Styles video. Can you believe this? This video was just three months old. Three months. That's as long as I've been on YouTube. It feels like I've been on here for a year now. But yeah, I started this whole YouTube journey just three months ago. So let's take a look at my first video. Um, I was recommending Battle Styles when it was at $78.88, $78.99, so under $79 a box. Um, I wasn't recommending it for a quick flip or a huge return. I was recommending it for the long term. Basically, my theory was, hey, I think we've seen the bottom. Um, I think it's a great time to get into Battle Styles if you are wanting to be into it for the future. I don't think you're going to see much better prices than you see now. Fast forward to now. Yeah, you know, it's three months later, Battle Styles isn't doing much better. You know, you may have made 10% on your money, but after fees and shipping, you actually would probably be upside down on it. So it's not like you would have made a super huge gain yet on Battle Styles. But at the same time, I think it still was a good time to get in. Um, yeah, there are other be better investments you could have made uh, up until now, but if you were looking for the best price, I still hold true. I think that's the best price we're going to see on it. I don't see it dropping back into the 70s. But uh, yeah, you know, I don't think it was my best. It was my best recommendation. Um, you could have bought a lot of other things for that same price and done a lot better. So, hey, it, it's kind of a win lose in the battle styles one. I, I'll take the hit there. Next up, uh, we have, I think it was one, two, three, four videos later. I actually recommended uh, Evolve Sky's Elite Trainer Boxes. So this is about two and a half months ago. Um, I recommended Evolve Sky's Elite Trainer Boxes because they were at retail, right? At that, that time, Evolving Skies had already peaked up to in the like 120s, 130s, a booster box. And so I said, hey, the Evolving Skies booster boxes are moving. They're already, you know, 10, 20, 30% up. I think it might be time that the Evolving Skies Elite Trainer boxes are going to move. You might want to move into these. So fast forward to now, uh, Evolving Skies Elite Trainer boxes, they're going for around 60, maybe a little less per Elite Trainer box. So we're looking at around a 40 to 50% gain. Um, I think that's a great investment. Are there better ones out there? Could you have done better in other Pokemon product for the same $40? Of course, there's always going to be better out there. But I think uh, it was a good recommendation. I, I, I got to um, take credit for that one. I really think, uh, I really still believe in the Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Boxes into the future. And I think uh, two, two and a half months ago, it was still holds up as a great recommendation. So, uh, you know, Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Boxes, they were winners. Moving on to the next video, uh, just a couple down the line. It was actually my first video that really popped off uh, here on YouTube. Before then, I really wasn't getting many views. And then for some reason, the algorithm picked up this video and pushed it for me. And a lot of you found my channel then. Uh, but in that video, I was talking about the Celebrations uh, collector chests. All right, I was talking about how sh when Shining Legends came out, um, everyone was kind of missing the boat on the super premium collection boxes. They didn't really see the value inside of the promo cards and how many packs you got and and everything like that, and, and the prices were all kind of out of whack. It was the same thing with the collector's chest. The The amount of value you got with the packs inside because of what the Celebrations packs were selling for and the promos were selling for at that time, it was way out of whack with what you could actually buy these chests for. And so uh, you could buy these chests at, at a quantity for around $24. Um, I didn't show it in this video, but you could have also bought cases of them back then, which a case of these was nine for $200. So that puts your price point in the low 20s. And so you would have been low or you know under $25 a box or a chest on uh, on these products. Um, now, fast forward to now, how they aged. Well, they're doing pretty well. Um, you know, they're, they're around $30 a chest still. So, you know, maybe, maybe about 10%, a little more, you'd be up on these. Uh, if you would have bought cases, you'd have been doing a little better. Um, I, I know the cases were going for $200, $199.99 back then. Now cases have, have uh, risen over $250 a case. So uh, you would have done a lot better um, stocking up on cases. But 
again, you still would have been up. I still do believe in this product. You've heard me talk about it multiple times. Um, I think it's going to be a product that ages well in the future based on other collectors' chests, based on the value they give you inside. So, hey, it's still early. Um, this was, you know, a little over two months ago and I recommended this. You would be up. Again, you know, I want to say you wouldn't have been losing on any of these investments. So, um, I still, you know, stand by my recommendation of when I said to buy it. And uh, I think it's going to continue to perform well into the future. Uh, let's go on to the next video. Um, fast forward about three videos in the future. I talked about the Celebrations UPC. Now, this video was after the, you know, the big boom in the UPCs, right? This was, this video was after, uh, you know, we saw the 180s, 200, $220 a UPC. So this was when they were already high. This was when it was very controversial to say to buy these things. Okay. So I want to, I want to throw that out there first and foremost. And so, when I said, uh, when I made that video to buy those, they were actually selling just under $300 a UPC. And I said, hey, I know it's expensive. Again, there are better investments out there for $300 that you can do better in. However, if you are wanting a UPC, now is the time to buy. That's basically what I said. I said, if you're wanting one of these and you're waiting for prices to go lower, it's probably not gonna happen. This is probably a great time to buy. Um, if you're talking about you know, a large investment, it might be a little late for that. You know, you are going to see gains, but there might be better things to invest in to see, you know, higher gains. So I said, hey, it could be a good time for, you know, collectors or, you know, anyone who wants these to move in. And that was at $300 a UPC. This was about two months ago now. And two months later, we all know the story. UPCs are selling for 350 to 370 somewhere in that range. I think you can still get them in the 350 range. So, uh, yeah, we're talking about, I don't know, 15, almost 20% increase in just two months. I think that's a great investment. I think that's a great uh, buy. Um, you know, if you would have invested, you know, heavily into those, and you would have gotten into, you know, maybe a case or something. Um, hey, you would have, you know, put in what, what would that have been? Uh, three, six, nine, twelve hundred dollars, and you would have made what two hundred and forty dollars. That's a that's a pretty good gain on a twelve hundred dollar investment in two months. Um, I still believe in UPCs. Um, I actually uh, I actually made a, a comment in this video. Uh, I said that, uh, you know, as the supply gets lower, as we start seeing fewer and fewer results, I think we're going to see $350 to $400 a UPC. Um, and we're already seeing the 350s. I think 400 is next. I also made a recommendation. We're going to see if it's true. I said by the end of the year, I think we're going to see $500 UPCs. So again, it sounded crazy at the time. Uh, I got bashed a little bit for saying that, for being unrealistic. But Time will tell. Um, it's heading in the right direction, and I still believe we could see $500 UPCs by Christmas time of 2022. But again, long way to go. Market could do a lot of things. The world could do a lot of things. So we'll see. But I'm standing by my prediction uh, as of today. And uh, as of today, you would have been up 15 to 20% on your investment. So I still think it's a good buy. Um, what was the, one of the last things? Oh yeah, Evolving Skies uh, booster boxes. So um, I had a video on Brilliant Stars, actually. I talked about Brilliant Stars. Um, I said it was time to buy Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies at the same time. At that time, Evolving Skies booster boxes were at 137.88, so this was after they have already risen, right? I said, hey, there could always be a reprint, so kind of tread, tread softly, but if we don't see a reprint here soon, these are going to skyrocket. And what did we see? We did not see a reprint, and we saw Evolving Skies go up, 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 and away. And uh, you know the story, they're, they're selling for anywhere from 170 to 190 a box now. Um, so if you would've got in the 130s, what is that? 30, 40% on your money in just around two months? Not bad, right? There's a lot of worse investments you could've made out there. Um, to this day, I still stand by uh, the Evolving Skies booster box. Um, I, if, if it were me, I would start to divest from it at this point. Uh, we are seeing reprints coming of a lot of things, of a lot of ETBs. Uh, brilliant stars. Uh, there's a really, really, really good chance Evolving Skies is next. So if it was me, I would not get greedy at this point. I would actually take my profits out of the Evolving Skies booster boxes and wait for um, an inevitable reprint. It seems like at this point, obviously, you know, anything can happen. They might just never reprint it. But um, there's always comes that time where you have to decide for yourself: is what, how much gains is enough? You know, how how long do I want to sit in these things and, and kind of play the market? So. Uh, other than that, though, I can't, I can't say when to buy them, exactly when to buy them, exactly when to sell. But I can say that I still stand by this buy. I think it was, a, um, you know, obviously a little late, a little late to the party. But you still would have done very well buying them when I, when I mentioned these. And the last thing uh, I wanted to mention in this video is Brilliant Stars. Um, this is uh, after the second wave of Brilliant Stars came out and the prices dropped on eBay down to the uh, one teens. 
um, the, the lowest listing was 117.87, so 118 dollars ish. And uh, I said, hey, there could be more waves in the future. We don't know when those are coming. They could be a long ways away. So this could be a great opportunity to buy if you haven't gotten brilliant stars yet. I said, these prices have fallen. They're starting to plateau down there. Um, I don't know if we're going to see them go much lower. Uh, the lowest we might see are in the, you know, the 100 single digits, maybe, you know, 109, 99 a box. But, uh, you know, I, th I thought this was a great time to get in. And again, we all know that story. This was about, again, two months ago, I, I would say. And we know how that turned out. They're going for around $140 a booster box now. So if you got in at, at $118, you are up, what, about 20%-ish on your money. Again, these are very short-term movements. Again, I haven't been on YouTube very long, only three months. So I don't have a, a huge track record of a long, long you know, list of videos going back a year or two or three years and see how they age. But again, we'll do this every quarter. The longer I'm on YouTube, the more data we'll have and the, um, the more we'll be able to show. But uh, I think I think up till now the videos are aging pretty well. I, I still stand by my my um, predictions and my uh, recommendations. Um, I like to keep myself accountable. I want you to keep me accountable. If I make mistakes, call me out in the comments. But uh, I just know there's a lot of discussion about how videos are going to age and if it's ethical to recommend products or show or show what you're buying. And uh, yeah, it's just my way of accountability. I'm I'm gonna constantly go back and uh, watch my old videos and see what I was saying, see what I was recommending, see what products I, I was talking about, and then see how they're doing today. And uh, yeah, if I'm wrong, guess what? I'm gonna show those as well. I'm gonna show you know my failures just as much as my successes. So uh, you know when I do make bad product recommendations and you know we get to that, that next video of this in, in the next quarter, when we kind of go back and, and go through everything I've, I've recommended, hey, I'll be happy to talk about it. I'll be happy to take the heat then. But uh, as of now, I I'm still happy. I'm, I'm still... Uh, you know, I, I still see a good outlook on all those products, and um, yeah, I'm happy I recommended them. So if anyone got in at any of those price points on those products, congratulations. I'm sure you're happy. You know, you're probably doing well, and uh, we'll do more of these in the future. So let me know if you like the video. Uh, I'll be back here with a new one soon. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, consider subscribing. And uh, other than that, my name is Alex. This is Nostalgianomics. Be back here with a new video soon. I'm out.